All new at six, two people who forced hundreds of animals to live in these horrible conditions have just learned their fate. A judge sentencing Allen and Sherry Napier for animal abuse. It's a story we've been following for more than a year. ABC Action News reporter Chris Trankman was there and tells us how long they'll spend in prison. The Napiers could have received a combined maximum of 85 years in prison, but the judge gave them just a fraction of that following emotional testimony in court from the couple's family. Everybody deserves a second chance in this world. That's basically all I ask. Please have mercy on my parents. The Napier's 22-year-old daughter, Alana, broke down on the stand as she begged the judge to give her parents a lenient punishment. Please allow my family to be here with me in case the worst would happen to me. <laughs> my, parents, my father's parents are elderly and sick. Cherie Napier's mother says her daughter grew up obsessed with caring for pets. She would not hurt an animal, at least not on purpose. But a psychologist testified that Cherie Napier was a classic hoarder, and the squalid, dilapidated conditions of their animal sanctuary was part of that obsession to get more and more pets. Alan Napier said they never meant to harm their animals. Everything was with good intentions. Um, we got way over our head. The judge sentenced Alan Napier to three years in prison, followed by four years probation. Cherie Napier got 270 days in the Manatee County Jail. Not punishment enough for those who helped expose the abuse. I wish it had been more. Uh, I was hoping for the 85 years, not going to get that, but we made a stand. If people are punished for the things they do to animals, more people will stop doing the horrible things that they do to animals. Our judicial system needs to step up. While the Napiers may have avoided a long prison sentence, the toughest punishment may be the judge banning them from owning any animals or running an animal sanctuary. In Bradenton, Chris Frankman, ABC Action News.